Samantha, I love you. To Jupiter and back, and back again. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to this. And I can't wait to be driving the minivan with the little boys <laughs> on the way to football <laughs> practice. And you know there'll be boys, there'll be girls. Mm -hmm. You see, you're already wearing blue. This mm. is a gender reveal already. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Um, well, I just can't express how much you mean to me. Stop this world from spinning But if I could I would live each moment Like the first time Like the first time You got me from the get-go And I don't want to let go This is real I can feel my heartbeat For the first time Morning comes like a new song Everyone singing along This is real I can feel my heartbeat For the first time For the first time We met in 2018 at a friend's wedding Shout out to Boyo, the tourist uh, But we met at a wedding or wedding after party and um, Dennis tried talking to me at the end of the night. I saw at the after party of the function, Sky's Hotel 99 restaurant at the bar, the one at the rooftop. I saw her again from across the bar and uh, this time I had put a bit of uh, liquid confidence. So I asked around, I'm like, asked my friends, I'm like, who's this girl? And for some reason they seemed to know her, but I didn't. And uh, then I asked one of her friends, um, who is also my friend, take me and introduce me to her and uh, I went and introduced myself and I uh, got a long story about how she was from America and how she was living the following day and I said America is close I shall get you Uh, she refused to give me her number, uh, which I understood, but I didn't really understand. I was like, since you're going to America, just give me the number, nothing will happen. Um, but then uh, I asked her friends, and her friends refused to give me the number as well for about a week or so, two weeks. Then I think maybe in the third week, one of her friends had maybe got a hint that uh, Samantha may have also been interested. So one of her friends gave me her number. I wouldn't say who. Chased my number down through my friends until a one Charlene um, gave my number without my permission. But I guess, thank you, Charlene, otherwise we wouldn't be here. And then I reached out to her, and uh, the rest is history. Dangerous plan, just this time. A stranger's hand clutched in mine. He literally checked all the boxes. So I had a list of things that I wanted in a spouse and Dennis checked all those boxes. But I think also it was the fact that we had separated for some time, like we broke up for about a year. It's very rare that I'll go back to a person, like when I'm done, I'm done. But with Dennis, I thought I was done and I clearly wasn't. And um, when we connected again in 2021, it was like I fell in love with him all over again. It was like the first time we met, and I fell in love with him all over again, even though I thought I was done. She's a very organized human being. I think I'm more creative and she's more organized. And I think uh, 
our differences in personality and character synced very well together. And uh, how do they say? She's the yin to my yang. <laughs> so it was easy. It was easy to see that she was the right person. I've been waiting all my life. Dennis is a dreamer. He's a risk taker. He's really caring. He has a good heart. I love the fact that he's not judgmental at all. He doesn't judge people. He takes people for who they are. And I think that's why he has a lot of friends, or at least a lot of people know him and enjoy his company because he doesn't judge. He's a good time, he likes to laugh, he likes to joke around, he's the life of the party, uh, which can be annoying sometimes. But <laughs> it's still a good thing because he has that energy that really like draws people in, which I like. Well, she has very many um, attributes, but I'd say, on, of course, she's uh, very beautiful too. Um, She's very intelligent. And uh, three, she's organized. And four, uh, what probably makes her unique is she goes to bed early. Um, I think we've both been really lucky when it comes to our parents because I love Dennis's family. I love his mom and his dad um, as if they were my own family. And the first time Dennis invited me home, was for dinner at his parents' house, and we instantly clicked. His mom had come to the States before, so her and I got to spend time together, and we built our own bond and our own relationship. And I think I'm very fortunate to have a mother-in-law who I get along with and who I feel loves me as if I was her own. Generally, her family made it very easy for me. Samantha's mother and father are very easy people to talk to, so I feel like I got along quite well with them. And, uh, you know, when you get along with people's parents and when you like them, it builds confidence in the thing and it uh, reaffirms that you're in the right place. We've had very many memorable moments. Yeah. Seashells was a very memorable moment. I think that was the first time we went on a, a small vacation together for one of our friends' weddings. There's a trip we did to Ginger once that was really nice. Her coming for my birthday and surprising me, that was very memorable. I was in the house, about to go to bed and somebody knocked on the door and it was her and I didn't expect her, considering that I was talking to somebody who I thought was in America. Dennis and I have this thing that we do when life gets hard or we're stressed, we always get away, even if just for a weekend in Jinja or in Entebbe or whatever. For us, traveling is a great way to rekindle our relationship. And so for me, the best memories are every time we kind of leave the city or leave normal life and get to escape for a bit. 20 years from now, we'll have two kids. I'm hoping two, I'm happy with two. So two kids. Um, I don't know if we'll be in the States or if we'll be here, but I'd like to think that we'll be juggling a life in both places. I predict we'll be seated here at the parents' table watching our son or daughter get married. <laughs> Unlike us, they'll marry young. <laughs>
I'm looking forward to letting you lead. Let's do this thing. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, to the rest of you out there in the crowd, because I've said we're going to have a good time tonight, so <laughs> let's have a good time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's darling, I 